Welcome to the journey. Today we're gonna bake an awesome cake and hang out with our friends from the All Purpose Cake Co, which I'm super stoked about. They're in the very early stages of their business. And not only are we gonna learn how to bake, but also we get to share some expertise with them and learn about their challenges, which is awesome during this early stages and the creative stages of their business. guys I'm so stoked to dive into this especially for the cake at the end I'm here with Val from all-purpose cake co listen I've been just dying to know how did this all start this is a recipe that my mom learned when she was young it's called Saint Serval and it means without a rival and it's layers of meringue um, mm -hmm. uh, filled with the French buttercream Oh, sounds rich. It, yeah, it's rich. Um, I feel like you serve uh, it in small slivers, otherwise no, it get overwhelming. It's like, like big chunks. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if, you're gonna, if you're gonna go in, you're gonna go in big. <laughs> Deal. So my mom had passed this recipe on to my sister, and my sister made a little business out of this in Canada about five years ago. So earlier this year, I said, I want to do this business in the U.S., I'd like to take the sugar out and I'd like to take the lactose out and this is how we came about to all-purpose cake co. So the first thing you do is you crack the eggs and try not to get shells in and separate. You don't them. want a little crunch in your cake? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you want me to do this right now? Yeah. You so say you have to separate. The I'm, I'm just nervous. I was nervous about cracking an egg the whole flight here. Well, I, I can I can help. Okay, let's do so, this. Um, the brown. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Just a little tap, tap a -roo. It's like... And I don't have spares, so you can't... I'm not gonna... Like, mess I'm up on this. No pressure, Val! <laughs> Holy smokes! I should have brought extra. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna... I wanna put it over Put a yeah. little bit of... Oops. There's a... Oh. Don't worry. I'll get it out. Okay, I've got some goop yeah. in my hand. Oh, it feels okay. funny. Yeah. This is when you feel like you're really baking. So we want that in there. Yeah, that in there. And, and this then, over here. That's right. You got, got it. it. There you go. All right. I think you passed There's, there's like a small shell in there. Can I pick yeah, it out with my finger? I think so, yeah. I got it. No one wants that in their cake. All right, so I gotta ask, because this obviously takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. How are you s selling your cakes yet? Because you talked about doing it for friends and stuff and but are you actually making profit? Not yet. Okay. Um, but your... this has got to add up. It's expensive. You've got the fancy nuts. you got the cool heritage eggs. It does. Quality comes yeah. to the price. Um, because even though there's only five ingredients, um, by using locally sourced and small producers, we want to pay them fairly. So in return, right. we're putting a fair price for our cake. Now we're gonna whip it up, yeah. right? We're gonna whip it up. Is there um, any strategy there? There is. Oh. Um, so this is what my mom taught me. So I baked this cake with her and there's a timing thing that doesn't show up in the recipe. So you start with a number four for mm -hmm. four minutes. So you got a timer? timer? Yeah. Cool. So let's set up the timer. Okay, three, two, one. We're on four. four. So okay. far, it's like doing laundry. Is this what you do day in and day out? Are you making five ingredient cakes, sun up, sun down? Uh, no, um, I have a full-time job. <laughs> I have uh, two kids at home. So you don't sleep? I'm not much of a sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your side hustle? So this is my side hustle. Yeah. So you must be like, and you're not making money off of this yet. Yeah. So you must be collaborating with yeah. a lot of people, maybe friends and family. Like, tell me about that, because that's fascinating to me. So what I'm finding in my industry, which has nothing to do with cake, I run into other people, clients, suppliers, customers, and when I tell them about my side hustle, they tell me about their side hustle. Everybody's got a side but hustle. Everyone's got a side hustle. Other people that are doing like little things that have nothing to do with what they do in a day-to-day -day job. So what I've unearthed in my world, in my work, are all the people that are side hustling and we're all kind of coming together and helping each other out. Oh, oh hang on. Okay, so we stop. And then we want to put the cream of tartar. Ooh. 
and then flip it up to eight. Flip up to eight. Oh yeah, now we're moving. Yeah. Cool. Oh, now we start putting sugar. I forgot about the sugar. So, <laughs> so we want to put while it's moving. Yeah. So just a little bit at a time. A little bit, like a little sprinkle. Okay. We'll do it together. Yeah. So this is teamwork. Since we're talking about teamwork. Yeah. It takes a village to start a startup. That's how I feel about it. It's looking good. I feel like there's some, what do you call them? Strong peaks? Dirty yeah, peaks? Stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. <laughs> I think there's some stiff peaks yeah, in there. Yeah, like it. That's oh. where we want it to be. Okay. And Looks when good. we get to the stiff peaks, then we'll fold in the cashews. What do you mean fold in? Uh, use the spatula. Yeah. And uh, well, first we have to turn this off. Okay. Uh, get that out. Okay. There we go. Looks oh, no. great. What we want to do is, I usually want to try and get half of it out. And then just, it's one mm -hmm. circular movement from the outside to the inside. Outside to the inside. So that we don't lose the air. Okay, I got that. Yeah. Outside to the inside. Yeah. So that's Now it. what? So we pour in pans. So these are greased and lined with parchment. These are nine inch and I think they're a good height. They're about two inch. In the traditional pans are narrow, like are narrower in depth. They're okay. usually about um, an inch and they're hard to find here. So next time we have, I have family back in the Philippines, we send them out for a hunt to look for these in the market. And what are some of your mentors? Um, or, or have you? I mean, besides your mom, oh, right? Exactly. I mean, mom's, mom's huge. mom's a mentor. Um, we uh, had to find resources in uh, in the city that help small businesses um, with, through uh, business coaching. Mm -hmm. So there's SBA small. Oh, I love the SBA. Fantastic. So I've done um, a few of their workshops. Um, and are those free? They're free. They're at the local uh, library where I live. Mm -hmm. um, SCORE is fantastic as well. Also love SCORE. And what I love about SCORE is they connected us with a business coach that has 16 years experience yep. in the food industry. And she currently sells in 16 uh, farmers markets. So, Isn't it cool how you can have access to someone of so much experience and they're now they're like retired, right? So yeah. they're all chill and they want to give you all this great advice. I know. I, I've hung out in some score offices. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about like a local chamber of commerce? Do you ever go to any of the networking events uh, and meet with people there? I go to the economic development office. Mm -hmm. um, I do it for work because it's part of what I do for my job. Mm -hmm. But also, I talk to them about my cake. So um, they're both a collaborator for what I do for my job and for my cake. Goodness. Oh, I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's part of making a cake. <laughs> it is. You know, I've never made a cake. You're not, really? Like, now this, like, this is You're my so first. You're so not hired. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> okay. A little bit more on this. Oh, yeah, one. pour it in there. We're hoping to hire someone to actually bake cakes so we don't have to do it ourselves. <laughs> now, how will you find that? Because it's so specific what you're looking for. Is the SBA or SCORE helping you with that? Um, that's been a, a journey for us, like trying to find bakers because there isn't a pastry school here in Seattle. Here on the journey. Here on the journey. Um, I, a great resource for me is the kitchen supply store. Um, there's one in our city. I pop in, he gives me contacts. Uh, he's actually connected me with other people, other mm -hmm. um, restaurant owners, other food truck owners in the industry um, and tried to connect me with them. All right, so next up, we got to bake, right? That's right. How long do these take? Uh, one hour, and then we sort of eyeball it. Maybe okay. Add an extra five, 10 minutes. Everything is, um, is dependent on humidity. Okay. So, but we'll stick it for an hour and see where it goes. All right, keep an eye on it. All right, so stick around. Uh, next episode, episode two, we're actually going to bring Neely back. He's like somewhere eating cake or something. But we're going to bring him back to actually make the buttercream, which is going to hold it all together and add extra flavor, of course. <laughs>